Oh my gosh, did you see that? Hey minivanners, so in today's video I'm going to review the universal 3-in-1 car phone mount by Vansky. But first, really quick, here is my mileage for today. All here for you to see. And if this video is too slow, feel free to play with your YouTube settings up on top on desktop and down at the bottom for mobile so you can watch the video faster. I'm going to review a car phone mount that goes on your windshield, on the dashboard, or onto your car air vent. There are three places you can choose from. I'm gonna open this for the first time. You're gonna see as how I see it and see how it is and see if this is for you too. I'll quickly go over the stats. There's the first part here, see? There's uh, another part here. Here's a, a larger part. This looks like maybe where the phone would go or any electronics would go to. And then a tiny, tiny little piece. I'll put that down here so it doesn't roll off. We have a user manual with little pictures and a little business card. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna take off the wrapping. It's quite small. I wonder if you can hold up the girth of some of these phones because some of these phones are kind of heavy. Here's a larger piece. Most likely this part goes on the windshield. Very bendable. This is the part that holds the phone or any electronic device. Here's one of the attachments and I'm guessing this is the one that goes on the windshield. This is the dashboard mount. So it goes anywhere along the dashboard. Here or here or here or here. And this tiny piece here goes into your car air vent. I'm gonna quickly see how this works. So this is upright since the logo is on top here. It looks like it could be upside down, but it goes upright. There's wings here on the side and there's some legs here. I'm not sure if, okay. Oh, sorry, okay. So the legs, they kick out opening from the inside center part there. And these wings, I feel like I'm gonna break it, but they should open up because Electronic devices are all different shapes and sizes. Okay, there's a push button on the back, so. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Let's see if it goes. Okay, I'm gonna push the button on the back and it flares up by itself. That's really nice. Now the back has a screw cap on and a socket. It's all of these balls, the, the ball part of the socket for the attachments at the back. And then you screw it back on for like a really secure fitting at the back. Okay, and then a quick specs is, I believe with all of these put together, the largest piece together, its dimensions are, let me read it right here. It is 7.8 by 2.7 by 3.5 inches. And altogether it's eight ounces so you might want to know that if you want something that's not too heavy or you, if you want something lighter eight ounces is the the weight of all these pieces together i'm gonna go for i'm gonna go for the windshield okay you guys can see right <laughs> this is the windshield part yes i'm gonna show you how it, it goes on so here conveniently is my son's phone <laughs> And I'm just going to hold the back as if though it was secure. So it fits on these legs really snug. And I'm going to make the, the wings even wider. My son's phone is kind of on the larger side. Okay. And once it's, it's sitting on the leg here, I'm going to squeeze in the wings. So it's really snug. And these parts are foam. So it could fit really snug. He is listening to BTS just in case you're wondering. And I guess I'm gonna put it on first before I stick it onto the windshield. I'm gonna unscrew it almost until it's gonna fall off. I'm gonna put the ball into the socket. You hear that click? Right there. I'm gonna screw it on tight, really tight since it's a heavy phone. I'm gonna peel that off. And it's supposed to go right on the windshield. I hope I'm doing this right. There's a little lever, lever push button here and I'm wondering what that does. So I'm guessing you suck it in first and the instructions does say that any surface that it touches to make sure you kind of clean it off so there's not a lot of dust on it. I'm gonna put it up top really tight and let it go. And I'm gonna let it go. Oh, I was supposed to really go up there and you release the lever back up way up at the, the plate of the attachment okay and i'm gonna start playing with the phone as if though i'm really using it okay so it's on the windshield i can move it 
seat onto the left side, the seat onto the right side to see if a passenger wants to see the screen. Up top, down at the bottom, easy grip. Okay, it's on. it seems to be on pretty secure. <laughs> and up at the bottom, I don't, I, I don't I don't have the feeling that it's gonna drop down down here because again the wings push it in really snug and tight all right this seems pretty good and then the legs here are for sure making the phone secure okay and then let's do the one push button release here's my one finger I'm pushing it and it's supposed to release this one side is not really saying as big but it's it really did release the entire phone with one button. All right, it was, I'm not sweating. It's, it was pretty simple to assemble. Now I'm going to release this from the windshield. And I think with, with this lever, I'm gonna push it down. I'm gonna push it down. And then take this little lip and off it goes. It unvacuums that whole area. I'm gonna take it off, unscrew, and take out the ball. Oh, the screw part came off. Next piece is I'm going to do the dashboard mount. In this part, I'm kind of skeptical because I feel like the surface on the dashboard, you know, it could be that tough plastic and I'm wondering if it's like the right material for the dash mount to stick on. I'm going to take off the film that protects the sticky pad. Again, here's the, this is the correct position, not this way, but down. Here's the ball into the socket. Hit the click, screw it on tight to the phone mount. <laughs> I'm going to put it on right here. I'm going to wipe off the surface. And again, the same action. Here's like a, a lever that you push down. If you can see it right here. Push down. It's already sticky enough, but there's this lever that I believe makes a vacuum suction that secures it even more. Oh, that's real. Oh, that's on really tight. I mean, move on let me move the the ball socket joint it goes around fine now let's see if it can handle the weight of the phone okay we're putting on through the legs and the wings all right hands free i'm gonna play with it down to the side passenger side driver side down seems to be still holding in place make sure it's on really tight at the back tilt up tilt down it's not slacking or falling it's on really secure i can feel it's really tight maybe even tighter than the windshield I could, oh i turn it landscape or portrait mode now release so release is i'm going to release the dash mount from the dash lift it up kind of play with it and it unpeeled itself i'm going to put that protection fill back on gently slide out phone comes off Oh, oh, almost lost the screw. If you lose the screw part, it this whole thing kind of falls apart. It's not going to work. So don't lose that screw. Finally, I'm going to try this tiny little baby one. This is for the car air vent. I'm going to put the ball in the socket. Tighten up the back. It's on pretty tight. And I'm going to change my camera angle so you guys can see. This part here, this like kind of four prong cone goes into the air vents in your car. And I believe I'm just going to stick it in that way. I'm going to play with this first. Okay, this, this doesn't seem, I don't feel really confident on this attachment here. These are supposed to be like anti-slip grips, but other than that, there's nothing really clamping onto the back behind the air vent. I mean, it's really loose. I'm going to put it in really tight, really push it in. And I'm going to put my phone back there too. Um, I'm just going to play with it like how I did with the other two mounts. And yeah, this one is, unless I'm doing it wrong, it's not, it's not secured at all to the air vent. I mean, just by telling it, yeah, it could easily fall out. You see these prongs? There's no like teeth at the back to hold behind the air vent, the plastic here. The one that goes into the air vent, um, that one doesn't mount at all it, it will fall out unless i'm doing something wrong with it so i'm going to do the test i'm going to choose one of these mounts i'm going to test the windshield mount here's the phone okay you guys see this is the mount and i'm going to start the car and go around the block <laughs> 
let the natural vibration shake to see if it dismounts from the windshield. I'm kind of playing with it how like as if though I normally might play with it. You know, if this was a GPS map or a phone call, if I was an Uber driver, <laughs> and it's still on, if the passenger needed to see the map, or someone in the back, or the ceiling, or the floor, it's on, it's not falling off. This is portrait mode. I'm oh, sorry, this is uh, landscape mode. This is portrait mode. Okay, yeah, very secure. And I would definitely move it maybe even closer so I don't have to reach as far. All right, it's pretty good, pretty good. Okay, that was it, that was the review. Final thoughts, hello, final thoughts. I like it. There were three types to three ways to mount the phone, the windshield, the dashboard, and the air vent. The car air vent, unless I'm doing it wrong, it, it does not mount very well, if at all. Maybe maybe it does with a different kind of air vent with a with a different kind of air vent, but not with mine. It it, it would fall off. But the windshield one and the dashboard, it really mounts on well. Just make sure you clean the surfaces pretty well. But just the, the the way that it's built, it's, it suctions the surface really well and really strong. Um, the, the quality of the mounts have seemed pretty good. The mount itself, like these wings and these feet, you know, it is pretty good, but just make sure you're gentle with it too. You, you might, if you're too strong, you might break off the legs or break off these wings here. You know, so I would be just a, a little bit gentle with um, the plastic here. And I could see um, if I was an Uber driver or Lyft driver, this would totally come in handy. And you know, I take my children to school every day and pick them up and drop them off. One out of every four or five cars has one of these mounts. I see them so much now. It's kind of like the new landscape of the car. I mean, you might notice this too. It's, they're everywhere now. I think because we use our phone so much, we're in a car or in my minivan so much. So it's really changing how we drive. All right, so those are final thoughts. I like it. Not the car air vent though. So we use our phone so much. We're in a car or in my minivan so much. So it's really changing how we drive. All right, so those are final thoughts. I like it. Not the car air vent though. All right, so would you use this? Would you like this? You don't like it? You want a different color or um, you never like to have mounts in your car anyways? Does it obstruct your view? Let me know what you think. I would love to hear what you think. Comment below um, if you like. And if you like, subscribe. And tell a friend about my channel. This is Go Minivan where I make videos in my minivan just for you. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.